everybody? My name is Chad. You're watching Downshift Pass, and this is the 2022 Acura MDX A Spec. And that's right, folks. Today we're taking a look at Acura's best seller here. Of course, we're going to go over the exterior, the interior, all the features, go for a drive, do an audio test. And if that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. All right, folks, let's start first with the exterior of the MDX. I love the way this SUV looks. Let's start with the headlights here. Those are what Acura calls their jewel LED headlight. Looks like four individual lights up there. Looks really awesome, especially at nighttime. The daytime running light is not on right now. I'll try to put some B-roll footage in there, uh, but it's something that they call the chicane uh, daytime running light, which again, looks really awesome. And then your turn signal obviously is LED. Acura still includes fog lights on their vehicle, which I greatly, greatly appreciate. This owner has put a yellow cover over over it just to kind of aid in the sporty factor of the a spec here now let's move along to this very massive large grill this is Acura's corporate face and it translates very well onto an SUV and as we look at the Acura badge here that's actually where they house all the radar detections and everything within that badge so it's integrated very very well now let's move along to the side here now I know you're gonna ask this color is called apex blue pearl let me just pause here for a moment because it looks spectacular spectacular especially with the sun hitting it the way that it is it's awesome color uh, of course on the front fender you do have a spec badging as we move along to the wheels here these are a 255 and width 20 inch wheel they are exclusive to the a spec package they're a gray in color and then of course your brake behind it these are uh, ventilated front brakes and in the rear they are solid disc you do have turn signals on the mirror and those mirror caps are actually painted in black to kind of add to the sportiness flair of the a spec now as we move along to the back here this is probably my favorite angle of the mdx of course you have an led turn signal back here as well those tail lights they actually call chicane as well because they have the same shape as the led uh, daytime running light in the front led reverse light as well so overall it's just an amazing looking tail light design a spec badging on the rear and this one does have Acura super handling all-wheel drive so you have that badge back there mdx badging as well and take a look at those exhaust pipes let's go ahead and take a listen all right folks and yes I'm holding my mic just just roll with me here but what you just heard is this right here this is Acura's 3.5 liter v6 engine naturally aspirated produces 290 horsepower 267 pound-feet of torque that's all mounted to a 10 speed automatic transmission now gas mileage for this vehicle is 19 in the city 25 on the highway for a combined mileage of 21 miles per gallon which if you're doing your research you may notice is on the lower end of gas mileage for the competition but the fun in this car totally worth it all right folks let's hop inside of the mdx this is Acura's corporate key pretty much but the key for the mdx you have your lock unlock press the hole for the tailgate and then of course your panic button but let's start in the rear here if i press the hole you do have a power tailgate which is adjustable for your height which is a really cool feature now of course the mdx is always popular because it does have the third row seat which though does fold up and down very easily it's not power operated but you just pull on the handle here it goes into place put the headrest up and boom and you still have a pretty good amount of storage space behind a third row seat now this vehicle does have a cover here that would cover the entire cargo area should you need it um, of course you can take this out simply enough and you do have extra space down below now if you wanted to you can actually flip this part over Boom, so if you had anything that was wet back here, you won't mess up the nice carpet carpet <laughs> that is back here. Now, if you did wanna fold the seats, you just pull this handle and the headrest actually folds by itself down. And then I'm gonna try this with one hand. Boom, it folds flat really, really easily. And of course, like I said, this is a power adjustable. So you just push to set the height for here. This is at its maximum setting and I'm 5'8". I can stand under here pretty easily. It does open in a standard garage also pretty easily. So there you go. Now, if I want to close it, push the button or again, use 
the key. Now let's go ahead and hop into the rear of the MDX. Now take a look at these seats. This is a red leather and ultra suede seats. Now the ultra suede of course is the black part. Very sporty looking, very fitting for the A-Spec. Now as I hop back here, I do have the driver seat in the seating position that I would be in. I'm five foot eight and as you can see, I have plenty of space back here. Plenty of space also to put your feet under the seats if you need to. You do have mat pockets back here as well. And on the rear doors, you do have a manual rear shade uh, should you need it. Now, if you take a look at the material here as I close the door, it is a hard touch material here. I love this silver trim here. Not sure what it is, but has a nice uh, feel to it. And then down below is where the softer touch materials are um, and the black trimmed leather. Now, as we move along to the the center here you do have climate controls for the rear if you want it heated rear seats you do have to step up to the advanced package for that of course you have your vents back here you have some power outlets down here as well so you have your usb as well as a 12 volt and then in the middle console you have two cup holders and a little bit of storage space for anything you may want to throw back here and then one really really neat feature is that this third row actually comes out so of course or excuse me this middle seat actually comes out so of course you can fold it down but you can completely take it out to create a captain's chair situation in the rear to make it very easily for the kiddos to get back to that third row seat which is a really awesome useful feature now let's take a look at this sunroof from the rear it is huge it is expansive of course it has a power sunshade and it's a really awesome feature so the kids aren't fighting over who's going to get in the front seat because this is not a bad place to be back here but up front is where you will be. So let's go ahead and take a look up there. Now, of course, getting to the driver's seat, I have the key in my pocket. If you want to unlock the door, you just put your hand behind the handle and it will unlock for you. The power folding mirrors will uh, unfold themselves. Now, if you didn't want to lock it, there's some grooves here on the handle. You just push that and it locks right up. I love this car because it operates very quickly. Boom, unlocked. All right, so taking a look at the interior, initial impressions are that this is a really beautifully designed interior. The seats look really nice. I love the black headliner. I love the color of the seats, especially with that ultra suede in the middle. But let's go ahead and hop inside. And Acura, of course, It's always going to give you a little show when you shut the door. And as you start it up, you do have your engine start stop button here. With your foot on the brake, just push the button. And the car comes to life. Now, as we come along, like I said, initial impressions of that is that this is a really beautiful interior. But as you sit in here and start to look around, you start to see a couple of cost cutting measures here, but nothing to me that is a deal breaker, such as the hard plastic that you have up here. Then as you move down below, there is actually an LED strip here, which looks really amazing at nighttime. You have that same material that you have in the rear. And then of course you do have your softer touch uh, leather here, but it's still, relatively hard i think it could be softer now you do have els audio in this uh vehicle so be sure to stick around for that for the stereo system of course you have three person memory seats and as we move along to the digital gauge here this is a 12.3 inch display along with this one being a 12.3 inch display completely customizable which is really awesome now you do have your dynamic mode here which you would think is the transmission um, selector but it's actually not so as we put it in different modes here is in normal that is in sport and then that is going to be comfort here it turns blue and then snow it turns white which pretty looks pretty similar to normal but we're going to keep it in sport here because downshift pass of course now this steering wheel i absolutely adore it is very thick it has perforated leather but surprisingly at this price point it does not have a heated feature which you would think would come standard Again, at this price point, but it does not have it. So Acura, you gotta get on the ball with that. Now, as we move along to the middle here, I absolutely love the way this looks. It's almost like a floating dash design here that comes down into this soft touch leather here. And as we take a look, you have your vents, of course, driver, as well as passenger climate controls. And then of course you can control the rear climate control from the front. 
thank you Honda Acura for continuing on with the physical buttons. Everything doesn't have to be integrated into this screen. Very simple to use. Everything that you need just right here. This vehicle does have heated as well as cooled seats. And if you put it in auto, it actually detects whatever the ambient temperature is and let, knows if it should be heat or cool. Uh, so that's a really neat feature to have. Like I said, you have your dynamic mode selector here, but this is my favorite part. Take a look at the graphics when you go to the different drive modes. So that's gonna be normal. Hopefully it's not too bright and showing. That is going to be comfort, snow, which looks really awesome, but sport is my favorite. It looks very fast and furious. And if you push the button, that is how you put it in your individual mode. You just press and hold to customize and you can control the engine steering suspension then of course your lighting which is really awesome that you can do that what your gauges are and if you want the idle stop disable best way to do that with there for you so oh, don't want to reset to default so if you go to suspension as you can see you can put it in sport uh, normal or comfort a lot of different uh, customizable options here and as you saw when I push the button here it went to reset and I didn't want to do that, which leads me down to the touchpad here. Now this is Acura's touchpad for their screen. Believe it or not, this is not touch screen. I feel like it should be, but Acura believes it's best to not have that functionality with this system. And once you get used to it, you really get used to it. Pretty much it's what they call true touch. So wherever you touch on here is where it's going to show up here. So if I touch top left corner, boom, settings. Top center, it's going to go to FM radio. Top, I said left, that's right. <laughs> top left, navigation. If I top the bottom right, messages, see where my finger is. So let's see, go over here. So you can do that and it does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's a really awesome feature. Now this does have cabin talk, which if you push this, the mic is active and the people in the back can hear me i'm not sure if you guys i'm not sure if it's translating well on camera but it's a really neat feature to have easiest thing though is that it does have a home button as well as a back button so if you ever get lost always go home always go home now your remainder of the center stack of course you have an auto um the auto engine start stop button here which is really awesome that they just give you a button for that then you have a brake hold feature and right here which is really neat is where you have a usb-c as well as a usb port and i'm all about keeping things nice and clean so it's really awesome that you don't have to see that all the time of course this is honda acura's transmission system that they've been using in several cars pr n d and then if you want to put it in sport mode you just press d one more time and you'll notice in the gauge that it changes from d to s we'll leave it in p now one of my favorite features is this volume control here i love a vehicle where boom you can just control the volume so so easily and you have a nice little armrest here too or hand rest but you put your hand here if you're driving and just boom control your stuff here boom drive whatever you need you have your hand nice and comfortable on this leather wrapped material and just can control it and then you have your tune buttons as well so again just keep it simple this car really really has an ease of use to it now you do have a cubby hole here for a cell phone two cup holders you do have a wireless charging pad which is really awesome and then of course you have a middle console here which opens up two different ways as we move along here this is also leather wrapped soft material here and then there's your glove compartment which is a nice size it is damped it is lined with felt which is going to be awesome for the rattles and everything um, from coming inside the vehicle now of course you do have your sunroof controls up top you just push it is one touch to open this very large and expansive sunroof and if you want to close it you just push it one time and it closes. I love how much it opens, which is really awesome. And then you can control the sunshade separately, which I appreciate. See how it says push for mid? All you do is push it and the sunshade will actually stop right in the middle. So you don't have to fiddle with it or figure out if it's right there or, you know, so if you want to put it in the vent position, it's in the perfect position. But that is pretty much it for the interior of the Acura MDX. Let's go ahead and do what you guys came here for, and that is the drive. All right. 
right, folks, setting out here in the 2022 Acura MDX Ace Fat Package. All right. <laughs> now, I do have this in a sport mode because here at Downshift Pass, that's just what we do. And if this was my personal vehicle, I probably would drive it in sport mode uh, every time I started the engine. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just get started with interior comfort because that's what most drivers are really going to be concerned about in this vehicle. Now, the seats in the A-Spec are really comfortable, along with being a beautiful seat, you know, that red leather with the Alcantara inserts, the ultra suede, they call it. It's a really, really comfortable seat. They are heated and cooled. And again, you do have that auto function as well. So it'll let you, it'll just decide for you um, if it should be heat or cool, depending on the temperature outside. Now, one thing I really love about this vehicle is I've been driving around and gotten very used to is the layout of the cabin. It's a very thoughtful design. Now, again, this is not a touchscreen screen. At 12.3 inches, you would think it is because it's a lot of real estate, but you would have to lean forward a little bit to get to uh, touching it. So you just use your touchpad here. So with whatever you need to control, just use the touchpad and you actually get very used to it very quickly but when i say that it's a very thoughtful to design that touchpad once you get used to it you have your physical climate controls which are in really close proximity to this armrest and where your hand is also on the steering wheel on the left side here is how you control the volume control all your voice controls and then on the right side here is where you control uh, the cruise control all your radar systems with the cruise control and just everything cruise control related and it's really awesome very very simple if you want to cut it on you just push the button boom it uh, lights up there in the gauge cluster you just press the button to press the set reset button to set it and then boom your cruise control is set it does have lane centering as well as a lane assist to kind of bounce you back and forth um, and it will also slow down and come to a stop for you in traffic which is really awesome now this steering wheel like i said is a very comfortable steering wheel especially this perforated leather really kind of reminds me of the old school accurates <laughs> you know over the years they start getting really really shiny but it looks the leather started getting shiny but it looks really really nice and then of course on the a spec you do have a flat bottom here uh simply because this is the sportier version of the vehicle now driving this car i just love the sound of it take a listen here and that's what you get uh, when you put it in sport mode. Now, if you turn this dynamic mode and let's put it in normal here if I floor it. It still sounds good, but it's not as uh, raspy. You don't get that full on like loud rawr noise that you get when it's in sport mode. Um, and either one is fine. It does not drone whatsoever when you're on the highway. So if you do have some kiddos in the back, they will sleep comfortably, peacefully in the rear of this vehicle. Now talking a little bit about the drive of this car. Now this is a very large SUV. Of course you do have three rows in it. Um, so it's not gonna be a sports car. It's definitely not something you can toss around. But if you do get to tossing it around a little bit, the Acura actually handles it pretty, pretty nicely. Out of all the competitors, this is definitely going to be the the uh, choice if you are into more of a sportier drive or something that feels a little bit more communicative with how you drive. The Acura is definitely going to be the best option. It's an old MDX there. Now, I think the biggest competitor to this car is probably the Genesis GV80, which is definitely going to be a little bit more luxe than the Acura. Definitely not as engaging. Um, you'll see people cross shop this with, say, the Lexus RX 350L, which uh, no comparison to me. The Lexus is all about luxury, no sport at all. Uh, even with the newer RX coming out, they have a larger engine, but it's still a Lexus product. Acura gives you kind of the best of both worlds with an emphasis on the sportier nature without being totally uncomfortable or totally just, you know, too much. It's actually just the perfect balance. And that's really, really what I love about this car. 
Now with this MDX and a 3.5 liter engine, again, you get 290 horsepower, 267 pound-feet of torque. I want to say 0 to 60 in the high six second range of not right at seven and it's quick enough it'll move out the way it'll do exactly what you need it to do the only gripe that i have is nothing kills the fun like bad brakes and if you are familiar with honda acura products then you know they are not known for having the best brakes on the market put it in sport mode here and kind of tighten everything up because you definitely notice a difference but we know that they're not known for the strongest brakes and honestly soon as you put your foot into this brake pedal here it feels like a bowl of mush you really have to be cognizant of when you're coming up to a stop because you know although you might feel like you have enough room to stop no matter where i'm putting my foot in that brake travel i feel like it's just not enough and then next thing you know you're up on something that you kind of have to slam on it and you don't want that when you're out carving corners in your uh mdx do you look at how it takes these corners here it's actually a really fun car to drive. But just be mindful of those brakes. They are not my favorite whatsoever. There's another sweeper here. And you start to feel the weight kind of imbalance there on the car. But again, this is not a sports car. Not even a sports SUV, really. Sportier, absolutely. Alright folks, and if you watch my Acura TLX video, you know how much I praised the audio system in that vehicle. And this one is just as brilliant. Only when you go really, really high in volume do you start to hear a little bit. It starts to get a little too boomy. But there's literally zero distortion in the audio system. No matter what song I threw at it, it handled it with class and grace. Acura makes a really great audio system. So if you do get the A-Spec, make sure you check that out. They do have an upgraded system in the Type S, uh, which I believe is 25 speakers, which is bananas when you think about it. And I cannot wait to listen to that one. Good job, Acura, on that stereo. Now this does have super handling all-wheel drive, which means you can do this. holding a gear here love 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 that so yes no wheel spin super handling all-wheel drive is an all-wheel drive system that's able to basically torque vector between uh left and right of the vehicle to keep you track straight like any other all-wheel drive system um, it is optional on the vehicle and something that i definitely think you should get because it's also exclusive to acura all right now rolling into my final thoughts of the acura mdx folks this is an awesome awesome choice um, if you're looking at a full-size three-row suv to carry your entire family and it has everything uh well it has something for everyone i believe for mother and father whatever is important to you acura really has it in this mdx now if you're a guy like me you really enjoy the sporty character, the sporty looks of it. The color absolutely helps. Um, the fact that you can get a Type S model with a bigger engine should you need it. But if not, this 3.5 liter V6 with 290 horsepower does everything that you need it to do. Uh, like I said, gas mileage being average at 21 miles per gallon, maximum 25 on the highway is not the best. But when you're looking at a full-size three-row SUV, I can understand if that's not you know your major concern for a vehicle now if you are a mom and you're all right acura now if you're a mom you don't want something like that in front of us a uh, honda odyssey you have plenty of cargo space for the kiddos you have plenty of nice features for the kids to be able to get back to the third row they have a comfortable second row large sunroof for them to look out of just a lot of nice features for everybody and every type of driver so if you are in the market for this type of vehicle between all the competitors honestly this is the one to get now, if you made it this far in the video, I absolutely appreciate it. 
be sure to hit that subscribe button if you learned something new or if you just appreciated the video or if you want to see an accurate mdx type s on the channel soon make sure you hit that subscribe button but for now i want to leave you with this